Hey, how's it going? My name's Alex and welcome to Remixed Reviews. I'm really excited today. I was actually at TFCon last year uh, in October here in Chicago and I found something that was really, really cool. It brought back the whole nostalgia of the 80s, especially when it comes to Transformers, the cartoon, the G1 toy. This just embodied everything and I couldn't wait to grab it. It's something that I needed. I didn't care if I would find it later at a different price or so on, which I still haven't. But what I'm talking about today is Engineer General, due to copyright laws, they can't name a Devastator or the Constructicons. Well, we all know who this bad boy is. Um, it's made by a company called Before and After, based out of China. I did talk to the distributor, and they, they are making plans to do Superior next. Hopefully, they could come out with more of them, like Menasaur, Computron, things like that. This thing is awesome. Full body, fully articulated has some light up features that I really enjoy but what I like best about this figure is the cartoon look which you'll be able to see more when I show you in detail the box is great uh, very great artwork but I love the fact that it has great articulation great posing and like I said that overall aesthetic look of a cartoon I can't wait to show you this I'm really excited about this I do know that big pack toy store has this on pre-order right now I paid 75 bucks. They have it, I think, don't quote me, but around $79.99 with shipping. I still think it's a great price. It's not something that's very, very common. Uh, I've seen a few reviews on it, but not the mass majority. It hasn't been mass produced. That might change now that Big Bad Toy Star has it, but I cannot wait to show you this. I'm really excited. So enough of me talking. Let's open this up and check out Engineer General. Well, head it out, how I like to say so here's a quick look at Engineer General VA-1, a.k.a. Devastator. I like the simple graphics. The white outline was kind of cool. The, the background, I should say. Nice full image of him on the side also. And I also like that they show the back. A couple close-ups of the head. Shows that it has some articulation. Also that it comes with sound. Doesn't say it comes with lighting, but I know it does. It's uh, before and after is the company made in china what i did find interesting about this packaging was their recommended age to play with 16 and up i thought that was kind of hilarious yeah they recommend you being 16 years or older to purchase or play with this i don't know if that's an important thing but i just thought that was funny so let's open it up and take a closer look so here's a quick look at engineer general aka devastator he's coming in just shy of 13 inches so that's not bad I really love this figure. I like the overall cartoonish, smooth line look of the figure. Um, there's a lot of versions of Devastator, as we all know, Imports, Hasbro, Takara. But this is the first time I that I know of that I can remember where you get that cartoon, smooth line look overall. I mean, it just sticks out. It screams out G1 cartoon. Now, that's why I really like the figure. I thought the proportions were good. The arm length are, is pretty decent. The color is the spot on green. Uh, I love it. It only weighs about maybe a pound, so it's very light, very steady as, as far as uh, weight proportion go. There's no back kibble, or there shouldn't be because it's not. it doesn't transform. I just like all the smooth lines about it. They added some tires right here, even the leg. It kind of, it kind of, you kind of see. You could bring it in and out. I mean, just this figure is very cool. I don't, I don't. I really like it. I know they're making more in the line. Like I said, that they're probably going to be making Superion, which is very, very cool. He also comes with a set of hands. This is a, a gun holding grip hand, so you could actually hold the gun on either side, which I thought was cool. Or you could have the open hand, almost like a Megatron type uh, look as far as uh, to add some dramatic or act like he's holding something. It's really cool. I, I, anytime it comes with accessories like that, any figure I enjoy. What I also like about this feature is his gun has a battery in it. And if you hit the back of the gun right here, there's a little button. So if you guys could see that. And what I really thought was cool is this is a nice touch. I didn't even think they needed to add it, but I'm glad they did. You just hit that back of the button. So you get a nice little light. You get some sound effects, and it actually lasts for a while. So I'm gonna play it again for you so you can hear it. <laughs> it does sound like a blaster from the cartoon, so I thought that was cool. That was a nice little detail. What I also like are the blue 
windows here and then also on mix master the foot it just adds a nice little touch of color with the purple and the green and the black that i enjoy i really really like this figure as far as articulation goes this thing does not disappoint his head does turn around 360 it doesn't look up or back more but that's okay his arms do turn out too 360 he's got an elbow joint which comes out pretty good wrist swivel which i like Got, does have an ab crunch a little bit, which is pretty good too. They have these little things right here that swivel out, so he does get a good range of motion on his leg, especially when he talk about forward or backward. He's got a nice little knee joint right there, ankle swivel, little pivot, which is fine. Um, he does have a foot here, which goes up and down. What I like about this is I'm sure that adds some great uh, stability when it comes to the figure. Uh, also on this side too. You know, it closes in and out. I just like the little the little things about this fight. Let's see if we can get him into a pose. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. But this guy, this guy could be posed in several different ways. I'm not going to do it right now only because, I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys. However you guys think you want to pose them, feel free to. I'm just trying to give you guys a quick overview. Another thing I like when it comes to... Um, size proportion. I prefer these little guys here, Hero Cybertron. They came out a few years ago. These guys go really in good proportion. Look at that Megatron versus Devastator. That's good right there. I really like that. These are, they came out with a lot of characters for Autobots and Decepticons. And this is how I'm going to pose them with Megatron right in front, ordering them to destroy. You can't beat that. So I got to recommend Devastator. I think he's awesome. Excuse me, Engineer General. Uh, he is the import, but it's something that no one's making, at least not at this particular moment, that style, that look. I love the fact that he's a full articulated figure. He's pretty decent in size and in great color, great articulation. If you don't have him, I strongly recommend him, especially if you're a G1 fan, Transformers fan. This is one you definitely got to get. I mean, he's just awesome. He doesn't transform, and you don't even care because of the look and the style. He just hits the mark on everything else so well. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave your comments below. Again, you can visit us at www.comicsremix.com to check out everything we do as far as podcasting, interviews, and these videos. And we will see you next time. Peace. I cannot stay here too long before my machine friends will become nervous and do something rash.